What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. Have you ever felt like an imposter? I know I do sometimes, and I certainly have recently. Um, a couple months ago, I put out the carnivore diet video, and it got about 100,000 views, and a lot of people were asking me about the carnivore diet. But I'm no expert on the diet. It just helped me a lot. And so I kind of felt like an imposter answering those questions. Um, and I realized over time the more important thing was the fact that it helped me, and it's helped a lot of people. And that's what um, we should be focusing on. on. But uh, I was recently reading a book by James Clear and I was collating my thoughts into a video and I had that same voice again. It said, wait a minute, who are you? Who are you to be speaking on this topic, uh, you imposter? And so um, there's that voice that'll tell us, you know, don't do that, don't say that because, you know, you don't really know. And uh, there's a lot of self-doubt there. Um, and I, I just had some thoughts on it. Um, I think Lex Fridman, um, the podcaster Lex Fridman, does an excellent job of talking about this in a video. Um, um, imposter syndrome, you know, create your own path or carve your own way. Um, but uh, we have a certain way that we desire to be perceived by others. And as an example, um, you know, I, I'd like to be somebody who knows what he's talking about, who people, you know, they hear me and they say, oh, he's studied it, he knows what he's talking about. But in reality, I know that I know so very little and that there's so much more to learn. And so um, these, a lot of this is just going to be my thoughts on this. I, the man who thinks he knows something does not yet know as he ought to know. There's a, there's a guy I like to watch on YouTube called Pat, uh, named Patrick Bet David. And in one of his videos about beginning mistakes of entrepreneurs, he says that too many entrepreneurs are trying to be uh, kings. You know, they want to be the king instead of being king makers. You know, instead of pulling people up and uh, um, turning them into kings. And so having the king mindset instead of the servant mindset. So um, the greatest among you actually would be the, the servant of all. If it's a constant, look at me, look at me, then you're going to fail. It's not going to work out well. Uh, if you want to be great, you must serve. Um, and many times we, we try to project a certain image of how we want to be seen and known and therefore we feel like an imposter. Um, but I think if the intention is to help people, then a lot of that feeling goes away. And so uh, if you focus more on uh, the person sitting in front of you and the needs that they have instead of how they perceive you, that should be more important anyway, then I think a lot of that can go away. So. Um, don't be anxious about being an imposter, rather just focus on being a servant. So um, I hope that helps, that helps me. Again, I'm going to try to, my goal is to put out a video every day and uh, we'll see what comes of it. Um, it's just a, a short little, I guess, teaching public uh, forum type thing. Um, Jesus was every day at the temple teaching and so if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys for watching.